In the last video, I talked about the top 10 greatest KU running backs, in my opinion. This time is going to be a little bit different, as we're going to change positions. Because we're talking about the quarterbacks. Let's get into the video. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Drew, better known as Rock Chalk Zero One, And in this video, I'm going to be ranking the top 10 KU quarterbacks of all time. And it's all based on my opinion. Yeah, since I talked about the running backs in the last video, I thought, why not give the signal callers a bit of love? Now, I know that there will be a few obvious choices to put on the list, but I know that there's going to be a little bit of controversy when it comes to this list. So let me know in the comments who you think should have been put on this list or should have been taken off this list. But this is all my opinion and... Yeah, so without further ado, here's the top 10. Number 10, Adam Barman. One of the few premier pocket passers for the Hawks in the early to mid 2000s. Barman was a four year letter winner at Kansas from 2003 until 2006. He currently sits 12th all time in career passing touchdowns with 19 and currently sits 11th all time in career passing yards with an impressive 3,000 and 20 yards. Number nine, Dylan Smith. One of the few Jayhawks that left a huge impact on the program in a short amount of time. Smith was a two year letter winner at Kansas from 1999 until 2000. He currently sits 10th all time in career passing touchdowns with 22 and currently sits ninth all time in career passing yards with an impressive 3,562 yards. Number 8, Bill Whittemore. One of the best dual threat quarterbacks the university has ever seen, as he was a big threat running the ball as well as throwing. Whittemore was a two year letter winner at Kansas from 2002 until 2003. He currently sits eighth all time in career rushing touchdowns with 21. He also sits eighth all time in career passing yards with 4,051 yards and sits fifth all-time in career passing touchdowns with 29. Number seven, Mike Norseth. One of the few underrated Jayhawks that played during the mid-1980s. Norseth was a two-year letter winner at Kansas from 1984 until 1985. He currently sits seventh all-time in career passing touchdowns with 24 and sits sixth all-time in career passing yards with an impressive 4,677 yards. Number six, Chip Hillary. One of the few impact players that helped turn the KU football program around in the early 90s. Hillary was a four year letter winner at Kansas from 1989 until 1992. He currently sits sixth all time in career passing touchdowns with 25 and seventh all time in career passing yards with an impressive 4,598 yards. Number five, Kelly Donahue. Although his teams weren't as successful, Donahue made sure that those teams were in those ball games. Kelly was a four year letter winner at Kansas from 1986 until 1989. He currently sits seventh all time in career passing touchdowns with 24 and sits third all time in career passing yards with an amazing 5,382 yards. Number four, Carter Stanley. Even though his teams weren't as successful like the other quarterbacks on this list, Carter Stanley left a huge impact on the KU program. He was a four year letter winner at Kansas from 2016 until 2019. He currently has the second most 400 yard passing games with two. He currently sits fifth all time in career passing yards with 5,035 yards and currently sits second all time in career passing touchdowns behind the great Todd Reesing with 37. Number three, David Janes. Ooh boy, he put a huge impact on the KU program in the early 70s, as well as getting an All American bid in his senior season. James was a three-year letter winner at Kansas from 1971 until 1973. He currently sits fourth all-time in career passing yards with 5,132 yards 
and sits third all-time in career touchdown passes with 35. Number 2, Frank Sewer. This man left a huge impact on the KU program during the early 80s. He was a four-year letter winner at Kansas from 1980 until 1983. He currently holds the record for the most consecutive games with a completion with 42 straight. He also sits fourth all-time in career touchdown passes with 30 and sits second all-time in career passing yards with an impressive 6,410 yards. Number 1, Todd Reesing. This is pretty obvious. The Texas Gunslinger is without a doubt the greatest quarterback in Kansas history. A four-year letter winner at KU from 2006 until 2009. Reesing finished his time at Kansas with a record 31 wins and 19 losses. This includes a record of 25 wins and 13 losses as a starter. This man was a record-breaking machine as he currently holds the record for the most yards in a game against Missouri with 498, the most touchdowns in a game with six against Nebraska. He has the most touchdown passes in a single season where he threw 33 back in 2007, the most passing yards in a single season with 3,888 back in 2008, the most career passing touchdowns with a grand total of 90, and he has the most career passing yards with a grand total of 11,194 yards. And that's going to do it for me ranking the top 10 KU quarterbacks of all time. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also, Tell me who you think should have been on this list. Also, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Push that notification bell. Tell your friends about these videos. And I should see you again when the next one comes out. But until then, have a good day. Never ever bring exotic dancers to the field house. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.